good stone day. The rhino belt squat so it's heavier it's heavier than a normal squat i mean i have 110 pounds on it uh, plus the the weight of the sled or the pulley system i'll have to look at what that is usually pulleys because the mechanical advantage they make it easier i normally squat 225 250 for sets of 8 to 10 and uh and, and it's it's not that hard i can do you know five sets all right i'm not super strong but um, that's not even my body weight. So, so this one, I have barely any weight on it for what I'm, what I'm feeling. Uh, I do love the fact that there's no weight on my shoulders or on my traps. Um, it's nice to be done with leg day and not be bruised all over the place. Um, and that's even with a safety squat bar, I'd be bruised like down here. Um, so it's nice to not be bruised. Uh, the feeling on the hip is great. I'll tell you that I have two different belts. I have the spud ink belt. And I have the rogue belt that came with it, and it's the version two rogue belt. Um, I like the rogue belt better. The spud ink belt looks phenomenal. It's very heavy duty. It's just, I mean, all their stuff is awesome, but um, it cuts into my hips a little bit, just the way it's kind of, uh, uh, the way it tapers maybe, it just cuts into my hips. And the, the rogue one is just a long rectangle, so there isn't any taper. And so it sits on, it kind of folds out and sits on top of my, you know, the top of my hip and my quad, as opposed to like kind of going down into it, if that makes sense. So I would give one vote up for the Rogue Belt, but if you like spudding stuff, and I love their stuff, um, there's nothing wrong with it. And uh, yeah, so my first impression is positive. Uh, we'll continue to use it. We'll continue to, to really get a lot out of it. And uh, you know, that mix in a little bit of stonework, and you have yourself a nice little leg day. Have a great day, everyone.